hello welcome to this lesson in this lesson we are going to learn how to find the voltage or current um, across elements in a circuit using the superposition theorem so i have this question here which says that using superposition theorem find v naught in the circuit and v naught is the voltage drop across the two ohms resistor so we have two uh, sources here we have one current source okay one independent current source and then one independent voltage source here and then the step says that turn off all independent sources except one source and then find the output voltage of current due to that active source repeat step one for each other independent source and then find the total contribution by adding algebraically all the contributions due to the independent sources so let's go ahead and look at how you're going to apply these steps okay so we are going to have um v naught okay to be equal to v naught one okay plus v naught two okay where v naught will be when the current source is acting alone and then v naught one will be when the current source is acting alone and then v naught two will be when the voltage source is acting alone so we have to turn off uh one independent source okay because um, we have two independent sources here so first of all turn off the uh, voltage independent source so what i'll do is that i will have to short circuit it okay that's the uh, way we can turn it off so i'll have to short circuit the voltage source okay so i will draw my circuit and then in the new circuit i will short circuit the voltage source okay just to turn it off okay so we have a current source here and then we have the 5 ohms here yeah? so you don't have the 40 volts voltage source there because you have to turn it off so i've um, short circuited it so you have 5 ohms here we have 8 amperes here okay and then we have 3 ohms here and then we have 2 ohms here so here will be v not 1 so our goal here is to find v not 1 so we can use current division rule here as my current is coming from here let's name this current i1 okay and then we are going to have another current here let's name this i okay so our goal here is to find i1 using the current division rule we're going to have i1 okay to be equal to the 8 amperes okay multiplying these 5 ohms okay divided by the 5 ohms okay plus 3 ohms plus 2 ohms that will give us 5 ohms again let's do it plus 3 plus 2 okay so we're going to have i1 to be equal to 8 times 5 over 10 right that gives us 8 times 1 over 2 that gives us a value of what 4 amperes right so from here you're going to have v not 1 to be equal to 2 times 4 that gives us a value of what 8 volts that's v not 1 So now let's find v not 2 so i'm going to redraw the circuit without the current source and then for that reason i will open uh circuit the current source okay so that only the voltage source will act alone so let me draw the circuit again so we no more have a current source here again so let me open circuit that terminal and then we have five ohms here and then this is where the 40 volt source is this is 5 ohms and then this is 3 ohms and then this is 2 ohms okay all right so this is the circuit now so this is where our v naught 2 will be so our main goal is to find v naught 2 so for us to find v naught we must know the current going through the circuit let's name the current i2 all the resistors will be in series so you're going to have the total resistance to be equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5 that gives us a value of 10 ohms let's find the current in the circuit that will be equal to v over rt right so that will be equal to 40 volts over 10 ohms that gives us a value of that gives us a value of 4 amperes right okay 10 will go into um 44 times so i think have Four amperes, right? So we are going to have V not two to be equal to four amperes, right? 
power amperes times the two ohms okay that also gives us a value of eight volts right so i'm going to have v naught to be equal to eight volts plus eight volts that gives us a value of what 16 volts so that'll be the voltage drop across the two ohms resistor when the current source and then the when the eight amperes current source and then the 40 volt voltage source act um, together 